Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to take a look at how to make this a liquefy effect in After Effects. Step one, click on the new composition. I got to type in text. I got to go with width 1200, height 1200, click OK. I got to select the type tool, click, type in whatever you want. I got to press the letter S to scale it up. I got to go to align, align it to the center. I got to put the text on the upper part. By the way, I use the Humane font bold, which is by the way for free. I gotta click on the project, right click, click on new composition, and I gotta type in stretch. Click OK. I gotta drag and drop the text into the stretch. I gotta right click, click on new, select solid, rename it as mask, make sure to select some darker gray, click OK, click OK. And I gotta drag, put the gray solid in between the text so it's gonna be like 50 50. So 50% 50 of the text is gonna be still visible. Now go to the text, click on none, and select alpha matte mask. Now you're gonna see only the upper part. We're gonna select both, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and I gotta go to the bottom text. I'm gonna change the alpha to alpha invert matte. And basically, we're gonna need to melt only this part. Now we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in CC scale wipe, drag and drop on the bottom text. And here we're gonna go to the direction. I'm gonna type in 180 degrees and I'm gonna increase the stretch and decrease the center. So it's gonna start stretching out. I'm gonna go with some around 390 and I'm also gonna decrease the stretch increase the center to 400 a little bit more i gotta go to the second second and i'm gonna activate the stretch and i gotta go back to the first second and decrease the stretch to zero so it's gonna create a nice animation like this i'm gonna press the letter u so it's gonna highlight the keyframes and i'm gonna select the second keyframe press ctrl c I'm gonna go to the third second, control V, and I'm gonna select the first keyframe, control C, and I'm gonna go to the fifth second, press control V. I'm gonna pull the timeline in, and it's gonna create a nice animation. Now I'm gonna go back to the project, right click, click on new comp, I'm gonna type in liquify, click on enter, drag and drop the stretch into the liquify, and I'm gonna go to the second second somewhere here. I gotta go to the effects and presets, type in liquify, drag and drop it on the stretch. Let's go to the warp tool options. And here we can increase the brush size. I'm gonna select the first tool here, increase or decrease the brush size. I'm gonna go with somewhere around 200. You can also increase the brush pressure. I'm gonna go with 80 something. And make sure to liquefy the bottom part of the text only. Don't mess up this area here. So we're going to do it like this. As you can see, this part is moving kind of fast right here. So we're going to need to slow this down a little bit more. So we're going to go back to the stretch and we're going to select these keyframes. I'm going to push them out all the way somewhere to the 11 seconds, somewhere here. I'm gonna drag also this out and let's see. And now it's slowed down. And this is it, thanks for watching.